Good morning, friends. We are going to do calendar together today. So let's get started. First, can you find for me on the screen the purple star? The purple star is on the number 17 because today is the 17th day of September. Okay, let's move on to today's date. Today's date is Thursday, September 17th, 2020. Can you say that for me? Great job. Now let's say it together. Today's date is Thursday, September 17th, 2020. Okay, I'm going to move to the green square. The green square says... Today is. Friends, what day is it today? Today is Thursday, so I'm going to put Thursday in the green box. Fabulous. Now I'm going to move up to the pink box. The pink box says yesterday was. Hmm. If today is Thursday, then that means Yesterday was Wednesday. Great job. So I'm going to put Wednesday in the pink box. All right, now let's move to the blue box. The blue box says tomorrow will be. Hmm. If today is Thursday, then that means tomorrow will be Friday. Excellent. So I'm going to put Friday in the blue box. Okay, so I'm going to read it all together and then you are going to read it all together with me. All right, so we start at the pink box. The pink box says yesterday was Wednesday. Today is Thursday. Tomorrow will be Friday. All right, now let's say it together. Yesterday was Wednesday. Today is Thursday. Tomorrow will be Friday. You're getting really good at this. All right, let's move to the weather report. Today's weather. Today, the forecast is cloudy. Friends, can you take a look outside your window? Tell me, is it cloudy today? It is cloudy today. All right, let's move to the pink box. The pink box says temperature, and the temperature for today is 80 degrees. Friends, can you remind me, how do we know that this number is talking about degrees and temperature and not 82 frogs or 82 pies. How do we know it's 80 degrees? We know that it's 80 degrees because of this little circle right here. This little circle is the symbol for degrees or temperature. So when this little circle is next to a number, we know that that number is talking about the temperature. All right, let's look at the red line. So the red line is pretty big today. What does that mean that the red line is big? When the red line is big, that means that it's going to be pretty hot today and pretty warm. So that's why when it says today it is warm, we can we know that we will see a pretty big red line. But friends, what would it mean if the red line was down to maybe this number, the number 30? Would that still mean that it's going to be warm today? If the red line was down here, that would mean that it is not going to be warm today. It's going to be pretty chilly. But since the red line is big, we know that it's going to be warm today. All right, let's move to the weather graph. Friends, can you remind me 
what is the forecast for today? Is it going to be snowing today? No, it's going to be cloudy today. So I'm going to put a yellow rectangle in the cloudy row. All right, friends, let's count how many yellow rectangles there are in the cloudy row. One, two, three, four. We have had four cloudy days so far this September. How many more cloudy days have we had than raining days? Let's count these blank spaces. One, two, three. We have had three more cloudy days than raining days. How many more cloudy days have we had than sunny days? Let's count this blank box one so we have had one more cloudy day than sunny days and we've had three more cloudy days than raining days i wonder which row we're going to fill up first all right let's move to the number of days in school so friends we use 10 frames to help us count the number of days in school so we are first going to count the orange stars. Are you ready? Count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have ha we have ten orange stars. So we have filled up one ten frame. Now let's count the purple stars. So if the last number we just said was 10, what number are we going to start counting with this first purple star? What number comes after 10? 11. So this purple star is going to be the number 11, and then we will continue counting on from there. All right, let's get started. 11, 12... 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So now we have filled up two 10 frames. All right, now we are going to count the light blue stars. If the last number that we just counted together was 20, then what number star is this going to be? What number comes after 20? 21. So then this light blue star is going to be number 21 and we are going to keep counting up from there. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. We have had 26 days of school. That makes me so happy. I love being in school. Friends, I have another question. How many more days of school do we need to have before we fill up our third 10 frame? Let's count the blank spaces. One, two, three, four. So in four more days, we will have filled up our third 10 frame. That's pretty cool. All right, now on to the last part and my favorite part of calendar pattern work. Oh, this is the same type of pattern that we've been working on this these last couple of days. And I know that we are becoming pros at this type of pattern. All right, so we are going to start off by saying the colors of the teddy bears in the first row. And remember, when we get to a blank, we're going to cover our mouths. All right, let's get started. Red, red, yellow, red. What color teddy bear goes on this blank? So first, I'm going to look at the color of the teddy bears on both sides of the blank. I see one red and another red. So I know that I'm looking to see what color teddy bear is in between two red teddy bears. Hmm. Oh. I see a yellow teddy bear in between two red teddy bears. 
So do you think a yellow teddy bear goes on this blank? I think so too. So I'm going to put a yellow teddy bear on this blank. All right, now let's say the whole pattern together. Red, yellow, red, yellow, red. Awesome job. Okay, let's move on to the second pattern. Let's say the colors of the teddy bears together. Light blue, light blue, purple, light blue. What color teddy bear goes on this blank? So my first step, I'm going to do the same thing that I did for the pattern before. I'm going to look at what color teddy bears are on both sides of the blank. I see one light blue and another light blue. So now I'm going to look in the pattern for a color teddy bear in between two light blue teddy bears. Hmm. I see a purple teddy bear in between two light blue teddy bears. So do you think a purple one goes on this blank? I think so. So I'm going to put a purple teddy bear on this blank. All right, this looks right to me. Does it look right to you? Fabulous. All right, let's say the colors of this full pattern together. Light blue, purple, light blue, purple, light blue. Awesome job. Okay, friends, we are up to the last pattern. We are going to say the colors of the teddy bears together. Pink. Pink, green, pink. What color teddy bear do you think goes on this blank? Hmm. You tell me, what's the first step that you're going to do? So first you're going to look at the color of the teddy bears on both sides of the blank. Yes, and then what? Then you're going to see if there's a color teddy bear in between those two, in between that color teddy bear. So you're looking to see if there's a color teddy bear in between two pink ones. And you think it's green. I think you may be right. Let's look. I think that this is right. You did an excellent job. All right, let's say the colors of this complete pattern together. Pink, green, pink, green, pink. Excellent job. Friends, you did a great job today with calendar and I cannot wait for you to help me again tomorrow. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye.